Alright, what's up guys? Andrew here from VTV, bringing you another pre uh, post-commentary feature match. And joining me again is Nick Z and Vlad. Hey. What's up? Welcome guys. Alright, so today we got a Revenger vs. Liberator match. So, you want? Know Let's get right into it. Alright, so, you know, it's fast forward of one turn, but like, you know, first turn doesn't really matter, because you just ride and that's it. Well, we've got... Yeah, I mean, for the starters, we have Judge Bow, which is awesome. What's the other? Oh, we have the dog for the other yeah. one. I think it's one of the lesser known, newer Liberator starters. I'm not too keen on it. I mean, it works just like Bruno every time a superior call gets a nice, you know, buff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the end of the day, you could just throw a Bruno behind it and call it a day, and it does the same thing. Yeah, like, That's... in Legion format, I prefer to play Great Three Searchers, because, you know, it's just nice to have. Yeah, it's either great researchers or something that would give you an advantage because, yeah, the the pump up in number is fine, but you're already pushing yourself to high numbers alone. Yeah. All right. So he throws down a Percival, and that's the 10k Legion, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the the vanilla one. That leads to the vanilla. Okay. And there's a Bruno. That's. Oh. I mean, that works for a good column. Makes 21 column, right? No, it'll be 20 after Bruno gets a boost. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a 20. Oh, no, wait. wait it'll go to 2K, though. Yeah, you're right. It'll go to, like, 22. Oh, it's that rear guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I understand now. So, you yeah, know, it works like... It just gets plus 2K. It's not too bad. Oh. Let's see. The Quintet to fill a field. We got two of the glare mates. The Percival. One trigger. Okay. Like heal and what else? Uh, it was... No, it was a draw trigger. It was a draw trigger. Actually, it's one trigger out of the stack. That's... Yeah, it was two Aglovales, a Percival, and draw trigger, and blank. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. It's kind of upsetting to see one trigger go yeah. back. But, I mean, like, it was only uh, 18k Mordred, so it wasn't that big of a deal. It's kind of sad to see an Aglovale go back, to see two Aglovales go. Yeah. Yeah, because you know for a fact you're not going to superior call it anytime soon. Exactly. Right. Up the city going first. City puts Aguil. back, puts back one Aglavale with a draw trigger. Another draw, and that's the quintet wall. Oh, that's right. perfect. That's perfect. Sorry, that's not bad. The new perfect guard looks so much cooler than Mark. I don't care it what anybody does. says. <laughs> no, no, it does. It does. It does. All right. Never been a big fan of Mark. <laughs> no, I don't know. Original Mark had a cool artwork. Well, cause yeah, he it, it, bad, was, it was but... supposed to mirror yeah. original Isolde's yeah. art. You know what it was? It was I like the whole Halo Shield um, Con that motif was cool thing. Yeah. Yeah, I go yeah, him, him and original Zalt had the cool, you know, cyber looking shield. Yeah. Up. Oh, all right. So let's see. He called the Glare Mate, and you're gonna soul bust one for the top five. Look for a grade three Ooh. with blue flames. Up, nice. oh, and he got the first. Right there. That's pretty good. It's always a shame. After you do your job with Percival, sitting on a Percival is the worst thing you can do. Gotta yeah. thank God he can intercept. Because nope. yeah. you can, because li you literally just do nothing on Percival after you do the whole superior call. It's a great plus one, don't get me wrong. But I mean, after it's done its job, if you don't have another great three to take advantage of, you don't. You just you just sit there in a vanilla legion. Yeah, it's a one-time thing. It's a great one-time thing. I'm just saying, you know, I'm another great three. It's very frustrating. Yeah, I mean, that's what the, the Agile Veil for, you know, for core, for Glare comes in. Glare or core. Either way yeah, works. Yeah, just a way to search it out. Just search out another great three. Yeah. yeah. That's so why you need a great three searcher in this, in this deck. You already soul. have a great two that does it. Mm. Yep. You got the Soul Mordred up, and yep. then you got the Judge Bow off. Oh boy. Are we going to see Double Swordbreaker? Let's see. Uh oh. Double sword breaks is like the scariest thing to fate to stare down because then you just they just balloon in hand. And you're just like, oh, no, okay, you went Dorn sword breaker. That's still good. But you get a plus one, you get a damage and flip more whenever you want. Yep. And he soul blast the judge bow to use it later if anything. Yeah, it's actually really good to send back your starters if there's nothing else in your drop zone. I know I do that a lot with like with Spark Kid. Yeah, I actually have the uh, Bluish Slam Liberator deck. I do that a lot. I play the uh, Guido. Guido. <laughs> I'm not even pronouncing it right, but it's it, it's okay. We'll, we'll call him Guido from here on out, just cause. <laughs> right. It's a little racist. 
But um, <laughs> it's always good because if you draw it, you can use it to guard. And if you really just want the spare call, it's a free uh, set off for Glare's effect. Mm -hmm. Throw it in soul, spare call something out, then do the kind of ice one for Glare. It's a good starter for the deck. Yeah. It is. You just have to wait until you legion. But essentially, it's a free Lapier shooter. It looks like this guy's trying to explain his turn. Yeah, because he's on he's on a glare right now, so I guess gotcha. he's gonna explain like you know each individual effect. Makes sense. A good player. Yeah. It's a good player respect thing to do. Yeah. Not everybody knows. Yeah. Oh, is that Percival? Oh, that's upsetting. Yeah. Oh, it's an attacker. It is, but it, it hurts a little bit to get that Grazer in the field instead of discarding it from your hand. Yeah, but he could always eat it, so is that too bad? That's true. Yeah. That's the thing I like about Glare. You just eat your whatever you call out. Or whatever. Yeah, you, you, you eat whatever's out. dead. Yeah. I like the same thing for Core as well. A lot of people don't like Core. I don't know. I, I, I like Core myself. Well, mostly because he's not completely vanilla like Percival. Yeah. I mean, honestly, all three of the Blue yeah. Flame Great Days like, are good. Yeah, I like it because it's a subtle boost. Hmm. No, oh, but he's going to do it again next turn. Well, if he can... All right, let's see. He's in break ride. Yep. And there it is. The Abyss. Abyssu. Let's see. Let's see, what is he getting? He's getting Blasted Dark Avenger. No, McCart. Oh, Cor um, I almost said Cormac. <laughs> McCart. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mordra gets McCart, and then McCart gets something else later. It's pretty free. Yeah, completely free. And McCart gets a swing because he gets a boost. Yeah, he doesn't have to dedicate something behind it. Doesn't uh, McCart get a grade one or lower? Yeah, yeah. So uh, so essentially you can get a column for himself anyway. Yeah. Uh, he sends back four nope. crits. Wow. Okay. That's what you got to do. <laughs> so the deck does. Swing for big numbers and stack uh, it all. Three crits and a heal. My bad. All right. Legion. Brought to you by Pop. Papa John's. Yeah. Okay, so McCart called Doran over Swordbreaker. Okay, I mean it's not. It, it's it's a free eat. Yeah. Yeah, you can't dead. eat you can't eat the yeah. Swordbreaker anyway. Yeah, exactly. Swordbreaker's dead, so. So, yeah, up there it is. Master Dark. Free yeah. my, my Erviter. He still has the cape in the artwork for Abyss, right? Yeah, he has a cape. Yeah, he does. Yeah. This okay, cape is all like, torn up looking. Unlike, unlike Blaster Blade, I really like Blaster Dark with the cape. <laughs> he looks like a badass. He's supposed to be a badass. It's like exactly, but they they try to make Blaster Blade a boss, but it's like eh. Yeah. Put it this way, Blaster Dark is the Batman to Blaster Blade being Superman. Oh, Batman's so good. <laughs> Just the best way to describe That's it. True. They're both overpowered. Oh, there's, there, <laughs> well, there's the, the first crit, no, guys, no. and a draw trigger. Ooh. Um, Okay. Well, at least he didn't get so double good. crit. Go, Archetype Dragon. Use your skill and stand. Yay. Up there it is. <laughs> oh, 30. Oh. 32. Oh, he also got a trigger. Did he, did he pass it yeah, onto McCart? Yeah, or did he, get uh, it he to, got a draw trigger onto McCart and then a crit trigger onto Vanguard. Oh, my. Yeah. So it's going for 20. 37. 37 yeah. No. Wait, oh, 37. 37 because the break ride. Yeah. All in, all in. Wow. Uh, wow. Was that it? Let's see. One, two, oh, oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh. Well, you know, sometimes that's what happens in this game. Legion format, it's, Legion format, it's especially going to be more common, so people got to be less salty about it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well... Yeah, uh, it was a good. It was decent, I guess, up until that point. Yeah, it, it wasn't a bad match. Yeah. Well, I mean, Abyss did what Abyss was supposed to do. Yeah, send back triggers and hit him. Yep, yep. hit him, hit him, and with the trigger stacked on it. So, 
the whole purpose of the show. deck. All right, so thank you guys for watching another one of our post commentary videos. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. We'll be bringing you more stuff from our circuits. Thanks for watching, guys.